All right, here's a little help with number 25 out of the chapter 18 review. So you're looking at the at the picture, and what gets a lot of people is understanding the shape of it. So first of all, put some numbers, or put some letters on here, A, B, C, D, and E. And what you have is, whenever you're trying to figure out what your circuit is about, you have to take a walk through the circuit. So if I highlight here for a second, I start at the battery, I walk through, as I go up to E, I have no choices involved. So right there, there's no parallels happening. Also, if we went backwards, we went from negative through A, there are no choices involved. So you do not have a parallel happening. But then, boom, there's a junction, which means you have a choice to come this way, through B, and then through C. Or, you could instead go through D. And so what that means is, while the yellow highlighted ones lie along one path only, there's no parallel. At this junction, you could go through the orange path, or you could come down through the green path, and they come back together for yellow. So now you have to do a little math. And over here, you're going to add up B and C, and it's going to be 1 over 7, or I'm sorry, 7 plus 7, 14 for B and C. B and C, B and C together is going to be 14 ohms. D is just 7 ohms. So those two are parallel to one another, and you'll have to combine them using our parallel work. So if you take a second and set that up, it's going to be 1 over 14 for BC, and 1 over 7 for D. And you add that up, you got to use fractions, so you end up getting 2 fourteenths, and add that in, you get 3 fourteenths, and then you have to take the reciprocal. And what you end up with is that B, C, D together is going to equal 14 over 3, because you'd have 3, or 2 fourteenths plus 1 fourteenths gives you 3 fourteenths, and you take the reciprocal, and you get 14 thirds. 14 thirds would be the same as saying, let's see, that would be 4 and 2 thirds. 4 and 2 thirds. Okay? So BCD is 4 and 2 thirds, this whole thing. Now what you have is three stops. Let me grab the highlighter again here. Now, if we have these all together, you have a circuit where you go through A, and you go through BCD together, and you come back through E. And so what you'd be doing for your work is you'd be saying that A, which is 7, plus B, C, D, which is 4.67. And you're going to add that to E, which is 1.5. Because those three sections, those three sections, let me get goofy with the highlighter all over again. Those three sections, section A, section B, C, D, and section E, because those are three sections in a series, you'd add those up. And that is how you do number 25.